Hey, what's up guys? I'm Kenny Florian. This is Altonio Rivers. Uh, we are here from Argus Integrated Defense and a &R Tactics. We are at the a &R Tactics shoot house in Charlotte, North Carolina. Come out and train with us sometime uh, and check us out on social media and uh, on our YouTube, of course. Share, like, and subscribe. Um, we, you know, we're doing the, uh, a series uh, basically talking about sport application for real world uh, situations. Sometimes it's very different. Sometimes it's pretty much apples to apples. And this is one of those situations. Dealing with the wall, whether you're you know, in an alleyway, up against a car, you know, the same principles are always gonna be the same for the most part, but sometimes the techniques are gonna be the exact same thing. First of all, we never wanna be pinned, right? If, if River's here, I'm dealing with this big guy, and he's pinning me up against the wall, right? How I position my body is crucial. I can't expect to just go, well, I'm going to push you away. Not gonna happen. He has, right, a wall, right, behind me, and he's sandwiching me between him and the wall. You can notice he's a lot lower than me here, and he can keep me here for a long time, whether he's waiting for his buddies to come in, or whether he's just kind of softening, softening me up, getting me tired, and eventually just beating me up. We've seen that a lot in mixed martial arts. You usually see that happen over time, but, you know, I guess the only difference between, uh, you know, sport and real world is, you know, you don't always have that time, right? It can be a quick situation, and if you are not trained in this, you can be in big trouble very, very fast. So, um, a lot of these things are the exact same thing, right? So, this is one of those situations where low man wins. I need to be able to, you know, not be up here. I need some kind of a frame. Now, a lot of times people say, well, I can use my arm as a frame. Absolutely, that is true, but sometimes you're not able to do that. I can use my shoulder to get low and kind of use that as a frame to create space. I can use my head as a frame. I'm gonna turn my hat around here. Use that as a frame to create some space, right? Kind of push him away and get out and create some space for me to either run away, get away, get back to my, you know, use my hands or my strikes. Um, and again, so it's very important that I also position myself well. If I am square to a wall, Right? I'm kind of gonna allow him and give him a huge advantage to kind of pin me, right? Just like how I'm on a mat. So if I'm here, right, same situation, if you're on a mat and your shoulders are pinned to the floor, this is how you know wrestlers win matches, this is how a jiu-jitsu guy will get controlled, right? Because their shoulders are basically in line with the wall, you are now the wall and you're getting pinned. You actually wanna be able to get low and kind of blade your stance a little bit where now you can create some space and you're giving yourself an exit here for sure and potentially an exit over here. So big difference if he's pinning me here and my shoulders are here. Don't stay in this body position. What you wanna do is get lower, switch your stance to one foot forward, one foot back into that bladed stance and now I have an exit over here or maybe even an exit to push him out over here and maybe turn the tables. Right, same thing. Let's say Rivers, right, is good guy, I'm bad guy, and I'm hitting him here, here, this way. He's gonna get lower, boom, right? And now he's blading a stance where now he can really move me into space and get out of there. You know, we can also add other little tools as well. Here, I can't generate a whole lot of force to kind of hit and punch. I have my hands here, but I'm not really gonna be able to generate a whole lot of force. Um, I can get low, get my shoulder involved here. My legs are typically gonna be way stronger than my hands, right? I have my knees here, I have my knees here, I have even shoulder strikes here, I have headbutts here, right? I have my elbows here, but I can only do that if I'm able to generate force from the floor, and that's gonna happen with how I position my body, right? And, um, and it's just being in the right position. So this is crucial stuff whether you're talking about you know, sport application, and you're doing, you know, fighting in a cage, or whether you're in an alleyway, a room, or what have you. So um, make sure you guys get your training, come out and see us, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon.